All right, Magic Gathering fans, it's Daniel Chang with Vintage Magic. It's another VintageMagic.com review segment. And from our previous episode, we gave you guys a test. We asked the viewers out there which card, card two cards out here, are real out of all these fakes. If you look carefully, they're really good fakes. The question is, which card is real? Which uh, two cards are real? All right, so which two did you guys pick? Now, if you guys said pick two cards that are real, then you guys were wrong. So for those of you who recognize that the both Mox Pearl Unlimiteds are real, kudos to you guys. The next card that is real is the Alpha Scrubland. All right. So, let's go back a little bit. These cards were uh, given to us as an appraisal by one of our clients on VintageMagic.com. Hit the Services tab. VintageMagic.com has an appraisal program which not only tells you the value of the cards, we can grade them for you. Um, send them off to get graded and authenticity. So um, if you have an insurance claim or you need an expert to verify authenticity and value of cards, we can write letters for insurance companies. So the first comparison I want to show you is this Alpha Scrubland versus the Mana Drain. Because I'm kind of, I'm really upset personally in the sense that this, there's fakes out there that are signed. This is the real Scrubland. Notice the print is very gray. There's relatively zero um, issues with the print. It's clean, no pixelation. And here is the Mana Drain. Look carefully. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the green comes out really nice on the Mana Drain, but the blue and the print of the white is relatively pixelated, not sharp and clean like the typical Mana Drain. Another thing you should consider on this card is the signature. That is a perfect Mark Tadine signature. So, what happened here was the counterfeiter had Mark Tadine signed the card. And what's scary about this is that when an artist signs the card, they generally sign only real cards. I don't think any artist would ever sign a fake magic card. But this is the problem, is that when the card's signed, clients think that the card's real. So, this is a huge problem. If you turn on the back of the card, this is probably the most obvious thing to me is the card is extremely pixelized. I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell the, the shading is very pixelized compared to the Alpha Scrub Land. I mean, it's like night and day. Here's the Alpha Scrub Land on the left. Still though, very difficult to tell if you were just an average first time or even, you know, intermediate collector. And the two other cars that are real are the Unlimited Mox Pearls. So there's two real ones. Let's take a look at this Time Vault, probably the most obvious fake in my opinion. It's just off-center cut, which is fine. But if you look at it though, it's the brown lighting of the artifact um, kind of color is so off it's just way off compared to what it should be take a look it's crazy all right so let's take a look at the uh, the mox pearl this is real yeah, I mean, the biggest thing about this is the pixelation of the cards. 
I mean, if you look at them side by side, again, you can see a significant difference in print quality, the color of the brown artifact background, and also the inside that kind of where the text box is, it, it's just different color. And you can tell that's the biggest part for the uh, unlimited. The back is ex just completely, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's, there's a, big, a huge difference. Just the color. It, 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 the left one is obviously the fake. It has this uh, photocopy touch to it. So, all right, fans, we want to show this episode so you guys can understand that there are fakes out there. It's important to buy from a reputable source. All the items you see on VintageMagic.com are real. We sell no proxies and what they call are fakes. Now, if a card is a proxy, uh, that is what you consider a card where it is a revealed fake. And people use proxies because they can't afford some of these cards. So, for example, a Beta Mox or a Beta um, Black Lotus is worth about $2,000 plus even if it's played. So, you know, if you're playing a tournament or you're playing with your friends, people might have proxies because, you know, they want to enjoy the game, but they can't afford, obviously, the, uh, uh, the card itself in a real form. So, but we at Vintage Magic don't sell any proxies. And if we ever did, we would reveal it immediately. But, again, this is a very important segment for you guys. Please contact me. Daniel at VintageMagic.com If you have any questions on fake or uh, any questions, questions on uh, authenticity, really. I mean, it's a very big deal. Uh, as you guys know, um, we also um, are partnered with GradedMagicCards.com. That was the first company that I started in 2009, and it's still around. We offer the high-end artwork and vintage uh, magic uh, cards that are graded. And we work with Vintage Magic. Uh, basically, Vintage Magic is the parent company. Graded Magic Cards is the uh, subsidiary. And we work with them to help them with the services. So go to the services tab on VintageMagic.com. This way you guys can pick out the fakes and be have a peace of mind, essentially. And yeah, thanks again for watching. And leave some comments about this segment. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and happy collecting. Cheers.